Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through Act 7.3, quest number 5. And I'm going to show you what I consider to be the easiest path. Keep in mind that easy path is relative to your skill and your roster. So you want to evaluate all the different paths and see which one is going to be the easiest one for you. But if you want to follow uh, after the path that I did and just kind of model your uh, journey with me, then that is what this video uh, hopefully will help you do. All right, so you can see the path that I took. It's the one that had the um, grudge, the uh, tech, um, what was it, tech suppression or something like that. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, we'll look at them right here. Those are, you know, the globals. But there we go. Yep, technical suppression, grudge, aggression, regeneration. Uh, so you need to be aggressive, which is my preferred style. So I don't have really a problem with that most of the time. Okay, now this first fight is against Jubilee. And I brought in Nimrod. I recently grinded for Nimrod in the arena, took him to rank three, and then didn't really use him. So I brought him in here just so I could use him. And you can see I'm having issues. And if you've been watching my series, you've seen this. I've been having issues dashing and, um, and parrying. Uh, I don't know what's going on. It's not new, of course, uh, but every once in a while, because it's not consistent with me. Every once in a while, you know, I'll try to dash back and then, you know, but here we go. Now, I don't know how to use Nimrod to his fullest, but he's still pretty good, even though I'm not using him to, you know, the best of his ability. I think you want to build up armor ups and uh, fire off that special two like that. And look at, look at the damage. Look at the damage that he's doing with that special two. Woo. And he has different modes. Um, I forgot what that mode was called, but uh, you wanna be in his damage mode, whichever mode that was called. And he does crazy amounts of damage. Look at this. And he is the mutant killer. He is excellent. Now I'm running suicides. I don't know how that uh, plays uh, with him, especially when I have to fire off several, uh, you know, look at this. I fired off several uh, specials and look at his health because I run suicide. So I, I played with him here. I'll play with him some more, but I just wanted to see, you know, how it was uh, using him against a mutant. And uh, he, he did well. He did very well. Now, this next fight, Ronin. Ronin is not hard to fight. Now, I want to show you guys something. If you're looking at my team, you saw the node was technical suppression, so you would think this is perfect for tech champions, right? Great. But Archangel is not a tech champion. So, what I want you guys to see here is that you shouldn't be afraid to bring in a non-tech champion for this path. Bring in a champion that is going to do well. You know, Archangel uh, can do several, and you'll see this. He can do several of these fights on this path. Um, Warlock, and you'll see Warlock a little bit later is also an excellent uh, counter on this path. So you can bring in, you know, these tech champions that are really good, uh, Warlock, Ultron, Nimrod, uh, but don't be afraid if you don't have them, don't be afraid to bring in someone else. If you have Archangel, bring in your Archangel. Um, I didn't bring in Ghost, but Ghost could do this path as well. She's also tech. So you could uh, bring Ghost in, and she works great. Uh, this next fight uh, is against uh, Mr. Sinister. 
Anytime I see Mr. Sinister and I can bring in Warlock, I want to bring in Warlock. All right. Uh, I don't know if you noticed that, but I accidentally hit auto fight. Uh, I hit the auto fight button by mistake. Uh, but anyway, we're going to fight this Mr. Sinister with Warlock. And he is a great counter for Mr. Sinister. The fact that he's tech is just extra. If you don't have a Warlock, um, I wouldn't recommend, uh, look at this, I'm getting hit. It, I don't know what goes on here. I'm just looking at, I'm just like watching myself getting hit while I'm trying to, you know, block or do something. And it's just not doing it. But anyway, um, you can bring in Warlock. If you don't have a Warlock, don't use Ghost against Mr. Sinister. Um, but you could also use Archangel. He works. Uh, you want to get, uh, it's a little bit of an RNG though with, uh, with him, but you want to get, uh, your neurotoxins up. Um, but, um, Archangel can do this fight. Uh, I prefer, of course, Warlock, but anyone that doesn't, uh, crit can work as well. So, uh, bring in, um, uh, the newest member of the non-crit team. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Captain Falcon, I guess we're calling him. Uh, he can do it. Um, Crossbones can do it. Uh, I'm trying to remember the others that don't crit. Um, can't remember all of the ones that can't, that don't crit. Uh, but in any case, they are excellent, but they are not necessary to take that Mr. Sinister. Just make sure you bring in somebody that can counter that Mr. Sinister. All right, so now, once again, we're fighting uh, against a champion that Archangel can take out. If they can be bled and poisoned, consider bringing Archangel if you have him. However, Warlock could do this fight, no problem. Nimrod could have done this fight. If I had brought Ghost, she could have done this fight. You know, so there are many options on this path uh, and, and many counters. So don't be afraid, like I said, to bring in uh, someone who is not tech, but can do this. Now, I don't like fighting uh, Rhino because sometimes he get, acts real crazy and you really want to push him to the corner. Okay, and you see the... Uh, regen, I wasn't able to get the neurotoxins on. So that regen was starting to get him all the way back up to full. All right, so I'm trying to get him. There we go. Now we got the neuros, and I'm trying to get him into the corner. There, we got him into the corner. Now we should be good because you don't want him to be able to have enough space to dash. You don't want that. All right. Um, but look at that. Yeah, fight's pretty much uh, over at this point. You know, bait that out, no problem. Counter it. You know, just keep him over there. Uh, try not to let him dash at you because he will go unblockable. He just, he'll, he'll do it. Um, especially if you have a smaller champion. I don't know if you guys uh, were aware of that, but the smaller the champion, the more likely he's going to go unblockable. So just bear that in mind. And here we are, we're going up against uh, Black Widow. Black Widow, um, she reduces your ability accuracy, but Archangel can't have his ability accuracy reduced. So I love using him against Black Widow. You see how I'm easily uh, able to parry her? And there we go, now we got the Neuros. So Archangel is great for so many uh, on this path. And if you have a five star, bring the five star. He's just as good, okay? Uh, don't worry about, you know, if you don't have the six star. Bring the five star versions. Five star versions, still relevant, still can do uh, this content. Look at that, he just demolished her. It's awesome. Love Archangel. And by the way, if you have Archangel and you have him duped, do not put six stones into him. It's it's pretty much a waste. Let just dupe him naturally um, and let it go. All right. Now, this fight, uh, I believe, is the last fight on the path. 
And it's also, I believe, the longest one. So for this fight, I'm going to bring in Ultron. Uh, and you notice I haven't used Ultron anywhere uh, on the path, but I wanted to use Ultron for uh, Apocalypse. Make sure you bring in a counter for Apocalypse, okay? Um, otherwise, you're going to cry uh, when you get to that because uh, he's the last one on the path. Um, Ultron works great. The only thing is you want to be aware of that aggression regeneration. So uh, you want to be aggressive. And it's really annoying when he doesn't fire his special right away uh, because then he can build up those. Look at that. He's building up the aggression. And that's why you see me just hitting him once because I'm trying to keep the regen under control. But he finally fires it off. But look at all the regen. So uh, I'm learning here. I'm like, okay, what? What do I got to do here? I got to really be aggressive. Just look at this. He's almost back to full because of the uh, regen, uh, aggressive regen node. So I'm just like, okay, we got this. We're going to fire off his special three. Um, and we're going to try to just basically do as much damage, try to be as aggressive as possible um, and bait things out. Some of it, uh, it was the AI playing a little bit coy. All right, what you see there, I do have despair. I have one point in despair. So the more uh, uh, debuffs I have on him, uh, the less that regen uh, will be able to heal him for. Okay, you can see here, he's uh, firing his specials off. So I'm trying to keep up the pressure at this point. Okay, you know, every time he fires the special, he gets some more. Uh, so you want to punish those specials as much as possible. Ultron is a great counter for um, Apocalypse. Uh, I, I also could have done this fight, I believe, with Warlock. I think Warlock could have done this fight, um, but I did not do it with Warlock. Uh, I think Warlock could have uh, managed the um, aggression regeneration so that he didn't um, you know, build up any stacks, or when he build up stacks, he wouldn't be able to heal uh, from it as long as you kept that uh, infection up. Um, one of the things that I like about Ultron against uh, any mutant is that he will uh, put a degen on him when he would bleed. You know, that's why I didn't bring in Archangel because he would have gone uh, bleed immune and then that would have been it. You know, that would have been a, a horrible, horrible fight. All right, but with... Um, Ultron, he puts those degens on them. All right, so you can see here, we're getting him down. We're getting him down. Uh, maybe not in the best way. I'm still not the best Ultron player because he is usually on defense. So I don't get a chance to fight with him as much, you know, to get the rotation, uh, his damage rotation down and all of that. Um, but as you can see here, uh, we're basically trying to be as aggressive. You notice that I was uh, interrupting his heavy uh, whenever I could to basically keep on him, keep that attack. We've got the stun, boom, hit him with the heavy, you know, just keep hitting him, hitting him. There we go. We almost got him and he's down. Finally, long fight, long fight, but it was a relatively straightforward fight. So I don't know who the best option would be. Ultron, like I said, um, is who I used, but Warlock might have also been a good one. Um, Black Widow Clairvoyant might have been a good one as well. Um, so just explore, you know, there, there are different options uh, for that particular fight. Okay, now, this fight here, as usual, I generally like to go in with somebody um, to kind of test the waters, see how they work, um, and see how the fight is going. So I chose uh, to go up against Cable. Now, in a normal fight without any of these crazy nodes here, that Surge, Protector, Supercharge, Enhanced Abilities, all that stuff, Vigorous Assault, I do not like all that. Okay, Aggressive, that Aggressive I like. 
Um, without any of those, Ultron destroys Cable. But I want you to watch what happens here. See the supercharge? Look at his power. I do not like anything that increases their power gain. The reason is I don't like long fights. And in a fight like this, where they're gonna have a lot of power gains and everything, you either have to uh, bring in a counter to suppress the power gain, or you have to play around it. And I hate it. So look at that, he got the power flood and all this good stuff. And now he's at a special three, I'm dead. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? What I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna just go in with several champions, whittle him down. And, you know, I have Doom at the end. Uh, that's why I brought him in. Uh, so we're gonna just basically hurt him as much as possible. And of course, Nimrod can nullify a lot of his, you know, advantages. Look at this. He's just, just ripping me. So we got him, we baited out that one. But we did some good uh, damage, but look at that. He's just uh, <clears throat> getting that regen. I wish my cable got regen like that, all right? But the only purpose here was to get some damage in. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. That's all I wanted, okay? If I could build up to another special two, get more damage. But notice that he's not gaining all that crazy power like he was before. Nimrod. Nimrod is the mutant killer. Okay, so <clears throat> I didn't, I hadn't played around with Nimrod a lot, but, um, and you notice I'm getting hit <laughs> a lot. Again, I'm, I'm just having issues uh, with, with some of my inputs and I'm just like, whatever. <clears throat> so we got him down by quite a bit. Uh, I was actually surprised at how well in my amateur hands, Nimrod did. So I'm like, okay, well, I might not even have to bring out um, Doom or, or any of those to manage that uh, power. Notice how he's getting the power again. But of course, Warlock can kind of, you know, handle the power. So um, here we go. I got the uh, infections on him. So he's not gaining crazy amounts of power. Um, I did a little bit of a, a, a heavy attack to put a bleed on him. All right, and here we go. And that drains some of his power and he's done. All right, so that is going to do it for this video. That was the path, um, pretty easy path, as you saw. Um, hopefully this video will help you out. Uh, this walkthrough initial clear uh, guide. So take care, uh, good luck on your run. Um, hope you have as easy of a time as I did. Uh, take care and you all have a blessed day.